Hey everyone, uh, just want to show you a quick update what Amazon has rolled out. So now you have a couple of options uh, in sponsored display. So sponsored display advertising, if you don't know, let me just show you where and what is this advertising. So when you go to Amazon, let's say this is my product. Now you can start running ads on uh, your own products or any other different product, but you can now put your ad over here. See, this product, like this is your product, let's say. This is your competitor's product. Now your competitors can place ads directly below the buy box. This is called as sponsored display advertising. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two, sponsored display advertising comes over here as well. So you get uh, over here and when I just click over here, you will see this will land to the direct Amazon's page. Okay, so this sponsor display. Again, here you can see another sponsor display uh, which is happening, which is amazing. And uh, your this is also called as sponsor display. So there are multiple positions where sponsor display ads come. Sometimes it comes on the headline. Sometimes it comes, uh, you know, over here. And it is very very powerful for two reasons. Number one, because you can put your own logo. You can put a headline like this because a uh, healthy sleep matters and you can also use a custom image. So today I'm going to show you a couple of features and how you can use the sponsored display ads. So uh, in order to use the sponsored display ads, you have to actually go to Amazon Advertising, click on create a campaign uh, like this. And when you click on the create a campaign like this, create a campaign over here. Uh, then you can click on sponsored display. Now this is only available if you're if you're a you know brand registered seller. If you are not a brand registered seller, this will not be available. That is the reason why sponsored brand registry is so 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 important. Okay. Otherwise, you cannot use this and you cannot even use this. You can only use sponsored products. So in sponsored display, you just have to click on continue. Okay. Um then what you can do is this this will open up that's it that's cool just select your product whichever is a product and then you will get two options two options okay one is product targeting and then second is audiences guys so in this video i'm just going to talk about sponsored targeting in the next video uh, the link also you can find above we are going to talk about audiences and how to use the audiences power of amazon so product targeting choose specific products to target your ads now here you have two options right when you choose any of these options, you'll have two options. One is optimize for page visits. And second is optimize for conversions, right? Either of it, you can actually choose. Now, when we say that, you know, you need to optimize for page visits, it just means that uh, what Amazon is saying is that, you know, they will, whenever you put any bid, Amazon is going to find like, you know, most of the people who are, who have a tendency to click and come to your page. They will not see if it's relevant or it's not relevant. It's just like, you know, if you want to drive more brand awareness campaigns, generally you can use this optimize for page visits. When you click on this, which is optimized for conversions, here is where Amazon is going to, uh, you know, going to check their history and only show your ads to those people whom they think they have a tendency to buy. They will convert to a sale. Okay, so when you're looking for a profit margin, like, you know, if you're looking for profit based business where you want only people to come to your page who are who have a tendency to buy, then uh, this is the option that you should be selecting. And uh, always like, you know, we look at profitability first. Hence, uh, I always go for optimize for conversions, but you can do a split test and check if this works better or this works better. So I go with optimize for conversions and um, you can start with the default click of five rupees. Now, here's where the things get very, very interesting. Now, guys, this is very, very deep. But I'm just going to, uh, you know, show you one feature and I'll tell you how exactly that feature works. And in a couple of videos, like I'll just make a series if you like and give me a uh, you know, shout out in the comment. Uh, I'm going to make the entire series of, you know, sponsored display ads and show you like amazing features that has been rolled out in that and what you can do with this. So now what we are going to do is we are going to click on individual products. All right, not individual products. What we can do is category, click on search. Okay. Now what you can do is first of all, uh, let me just put it on the search. And um, since we have selected uh, product targeting, we, have, we will first change and we'll go with 
uh, product targeting, right? So what you can do is you can now select any any individual products or category where the entire ad will show up. For example, what you can do is uh, now home and kitchen, home storage. So let's say my product is in home and kitchen. Okay, what you can do is first of all, either you can choose your own category, meaning let's say for example, uh, okay, let's say for example, if my uh, okay, let's say if my listing is this. Okay, so now my listing is falling under which category? Uh, it it is in mattress and protectors. I can just copy this. Again, go and go into this over here, or sorry, I can go over here. I can just search my category, like sub category, which is mattresses protectors. Click on refine button. Okay. Now you can actually start targeting all the competitors based on couple of things. For example. If this is my product, I have almost 10,000 reviews, right? So what I can do is I can start targeting pe people with who have less rate ratings, meaning I I am having almost like 4.2 ratings. So what I can do is I can actually start targeting all the competitors with less than 4.2 ratings which is from zero to three star. Okay. Now this gives me a competitive edge, right? So I can click on add and boom, my ad is uh, created for one category. The same, you can do it for other categories. Uh, like you can same created the same ad for a different filter. You can click on refine again, same, same thing. Zero to, on. Uh, I mean, keep the rating same. Now, if you see over here, my price is around 879, right? That's like a huge price. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell Amazon like, hey, uh, only show my ads where the price is more than 849. OK, so I'm only targeting those people who are actually having more price than me. And let's say like I'll put a threshold of 2000, for example. So there are around 1400 to 2000 uh, products where Amazon can show my ads where they are more than 849 in the terms of price. Right. Uh, you can also go a little bit higher. Let's go with like, you know, 800, um, you know, 99, for example. Oh. So you can do this and you can see like 1,310 campaigns, uh, like products that they can target from 1,300 to 2,000. And you can just click, just click on add. Boom. So you have created two campaigns which are highly, highly targeted uh, in the category that you're selling, which is uh, mattress protectors. And you can start with the default bid of five rupees and adjust it uh, once you start understanding what exactly is the, uh, you know, bid, like uh, exactly is your cost per click. Now, how is your ad going to appear? So we have got like, so first of all, there are so many placements in Amazon. You can click over here. So sometimes your ads are going to come like this. You can see over here. Okay, so the one we, ju we just saw, right? Uh, this one, uh, over here, see, this is also one of the sponsored display ads, right? This is on the top, some will come on the bottom. Okay, this is also sponsored display ads. So I'm gonna go again over here, okay? And uh, see, like it, it can come over here, it will come up upon, it can come also like this, okay? It can come like this as well. It depends. It depends upon uh, your like Amazon will decide that you cannot decide. I want to show up here only leaderboard. It will show up like this as well. And you can see medium triangle. It will show like this. It can show like this as well. It's called wide scraper. OK, mobile leaderboard on the mobile. It will show like this. OK, and on Amazon mobile, it can also show like this uh, Amazon product page it will show like this and then uh, on this also it can show like that so there are a couple of placements where your ad will show and how it will show you can see from here now uh, there are two options uh, where we can actually actually we can add a logo and a headline or we can add a custom image so uh, let's see for an example uh, let's see now what I can do is Okay, so what I can do is I can actually add a custom image, meaning let's say if you're selling any anything like you can just put your if you have any logo like, you know, it should actually have uh, the dimensions of 600 to 100 and you can put a logo of your uh, image. For example, over here, if you see they have put a logo. See, can you see over here? There is a logo that you can put and there is a headline this headline, right? So you can do both the things. 
uh, over here right so you can put your logo and you can also put the he- headline for example uh, multi vitamins and mineral gummies just giving you an example see it will come over here and when you put a put an image it will come there as well which is an amazing amazing thing now the second thing that amazon has rolled out which is uh, amazing your first of all you have to understand this has to be your own brand logo okay it has to be your own brand logo for example see this is the logo that they are talking about okay the second option which is like uh, amazing is click on add a custom image now you can directly show your products in use let's say if i'm selling a sports water bottle i can directly show a person drinking a sports bottle bottle directly and you can see the image you can upload it over here uh, see the size has to be this i mean i don't have much graphics to show you but uh, you know if you can just use right like this size should be there and uh, no text graphics or logo to be added to the image like so there should be no logo just the plain image um uh, for example if i show you like this is an image right you can use you can show exactly like this image also like a person using or sleeping on this thing uh let me give you an example if i get one see even this is called a sponsored display ads which is amazing right everywhere you can see that you know this ads are just showing up see now here there is no call to action exactly no call to action like there is no headline nothing so this image is called as custom image over here if you compare this see if you compare this they have this logo they have this headline and this image is your own products main image see when i click over here it will be the same image see this is the same image you cannot change the image but when you use the custom f- filter which is over here uh here you can add any image that you want okay like any any image that you want that's exactly how you can uh, do the same okay so i hope this has been amazingly clear so you know you just start running the ads with the category targeting and you can start with the same now uh, once you are done with this just launch the campaign and see the results right wait at least 7 days to decide if it's working for you it's not working but i must say you know you should start with uh, the creative image because this generally has an amazing amazing conversions that's it guys uh, for this video i hope you have liked it if you want to learn all these strategies in depth i also conduct a 5 day workshop <laughs> at a price which is less than a pizza you can join the program by clicking in the link below all right guys thanks a lot and i'll see you again